Hi internet, what's up? My name is Kayla and welcome back to my channel. At least the very first part of this video is going to be ridiculously short so I didn't even bother doing like my lighting or the background or anything. I'm literally sitting on the floor in my kitchen, dishwasher, fridge, I have a very small space and I'm actually sitting in front of my cat's food bowl so hopefully he's not hungry. Um. But basically, I have just decided to end my Summer Love Project Pan. And the reason is I just don't love some of these products as I used to. And I think some of it for me was bad planning. I shouldn't have chosen to do five products for my first project pan. And I should have been more... I should have... I just should have been more like aware and conscious of the season. Um, I really don't like being like, oh, I can't use this because it's summer or I can't use this because it's fall or winter. I think a lot of that's really stupid, but at the same time, I see myself again and again falling to prey to those um, notions that like fashion and like trends have put us in. The fact that I don't love these products as much as I used to, the fact that they are not really appropriate for this season. And also, um, specifically one of these products is just really old and I think it shows when I do my makeup and it's just, it's harder and harder for me to um, feel inspired by this. So I'm um, real quick, I'm just going to go through um, all the products I have been using and kind of like why and then this will cut to like close-up pictures of how I started and where I finished. So. Nope, so I'm gonna first start with the guy that was kind of like substituted only last month, which is the um, Becca Highlighter and Champagne Pop. Here's where it is. Um, I feel like I've made some progress on this, and I still love Champagne Pop. I still love this highlighter. Um, it's very fitting for the season, and I'm actually not tired of using this. I still love it. Um, but just because I'm kind of ending my project pan, this guy is gonna be officially like still be used and loved, but. Project Pan's officially over, so. Next is the Makeup Revolution Matte Blush in the shade Nude. I feel like I've made zero progress on this blush, even though I've been using it for two months straight. I, I seriously have been using this blush so freaking much. I still love this blush. A few days I have changed it up with the pinkier version of this, but like otherwise, I still love this guy, so. Um, so unfortunately, the Makeup Revolution blush is just a unintentional victim of the Project Pan. But I'm still gonna freaking use that over, like, I'm still going to be using that blush. Um, next is the White and Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. Again, it's just... I feel like with these first three products, it's not that, like, I don't love them. But it's just, I don't feel like... I don't want to feel like I have to use them every single day. The highlighter especially, some days it really is prominent and showing on my face and there's other days where it just kind of gets lost um, with the blush and you don't really see much of the shimmer so I don't know if it's just the way I'm using it um, kind of as a blush topper, I'm not sure but I'm not sure how much it adds to my makeup by the end of the time I'm done with it. So going into the reasons why I'm really stopping my project pan, um, we're going into the Smashbox Legend Be Legendary Lipstick in Cognac. I don't even think, I don't know why I'm showing you all this. Spoilers, spoilers. Um, I don't even think that they make this shade anymore. I was kind of looking for it on like Old Times of Forest website, and I don't think they still make this shade, which is really special sad because it's a beautiful lipstick but yeah it's definitely too much of a fall shade I really hope I remember to use this lipstick um come fall because and I don't know how much I used cognac this month I used it quite a bit in June but it's just I don't plan my makeup looks until most so most most mornings I don't know what makeup look I'm gonna do until I'm sitting down and doing it sometimes I will have inspiration from the night before and be like oh, okay I want to do this kind of thing in the morning sometimes I get up and I do that look like today and some days I'm like mm, I'm not feeling it I was kind of bad on me for not trying to think ahead and try to think of looks 
Um, I know I mentioned in my beginning of this project pan, kind of announcing that I'm doing it, is that um, I thought it would be fun to make these more fall appropriate um, products be more summer, and I didn't do that. So I did not do that, and that's totally on me. And then the biggest bust is my Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. Um, I just, I don't love this palette anymore. That's straight up don't love it um and i haven't i i love this palette for the green shadow in here that's why i love it and i feel like over time i've just convinced myself that i love this palette as a whole because of this one green eyeshadow and so i remember mentioning in the beginning how i wanted to hit pan on um the green shadow this highlight shadow the space shadow which actually of the two months i've been using these the most um i also use quite a bit of that one and um it's just i like a lot of these shadows but also at the same time age is really affecting this palette um i don't i have palettes that are kind of around this age but they don't feel like they're at this point of like borderline I'm not sure I should still use them anymore uh, spot so for that like the mattes specifically the shimmers are pretty solid still but the mattes are where um, this palette is definitely showing its age and so I don't really want to use it for that there are a few more videos kind of ideas um, I still want to do with this palette but after that I'm going to depot some of the shadows I really do love and then I'll probably say goodbye to this guy so now we're going to go into the side by sides of where I started and where I finished. I'm going to wait a few days to where I have a better lighting and two, um, I am filming this not quite on the official day that I started this project pan so I kind of want to wait a few days to get to that point. Um, but yeah, I'll have the pictures of where I started and then where I finished. You can, um, the pictures from the last update were kind of pretty, absolutely fucking terrible. So I'm not going to include those, but yeah, that's all for today's video. Keep watching if you want to see the side by side comparisons, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you again on the next video and have a good night.